the Hartsville Red Foxes have done it again. 65 to 62 winners in overtime over East Side. Hartsville is the boys 3A state basketball champion for a second straight year. Unbelievable, man. I tell you, y'all. We dream of this, and it finally came true, so um, I, I just thank God, man. You know, it feels great, man. Uh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be with these guys, the team, the coach, family, everybody at Hartsville. Heart, heart, Hello, 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 and hello again to Hartsville. This is a brand new show called Hartsville Hoops all season. We will be bringing you uh, the perspective of the players um, for everybody to hear uh, from as far as game planning and what they thought went well, what they thought didn't go well, uh, upcoming opponents and stuff like that. So without without any, uh, not going to hold you up any longer, we're going to get you to the host of the show. Uh, the host the, we have three hosts and they are uh, Trey Hannibal, uh, Navin Barr, and AJ Cuffey Jr. So we're gonna start with Trey. Uh, Trey, uh, how's your day been? Uh, my day's been great. It's been really great, and practice was good too. So I made it better. So yeah, after I had to yell at y'all, so yes. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Nate, <laughs> how'd your day go today, Nate? It was good. It was good, and practice was crazy. It was good though. AJ, what you got for him? It was good. For those of y'all who don't know, AJ caught his first dunk ever in his life today. Uh, it wasn't in practice, though. It, it was after practice. Uh, I think he had a ladder or something, but I ain't seen it, so I can't. Uh, we, we, I, I, I can neither confirm nor deny those allegations of him dunking. But um, we're going to get right into the show. Um, every. You know, you might hear from these guys uh, once or twice a week, depending on the on on the schedule. But to start, uh, since we're in the preseason, uh, well, actually, it's not even the preseason. We're in the off season. These boys been grinding in the weight room and in the uh, in the gym, uh, whether it's been by themselves or or they've been uh, you know with me or or the coaching staff. They've been grinding hard. So we we uh, topics for today. We're gonna we're gonna kind of run through it. And since it's the first episode, this is season one, episode one. Of Hartsville hoops, um, and we're gonna we're gonna get rolling. So, the first topic and the first question that I want to ask these guys is, what do you feel? So we we'll start we we'll start with you, AJ, um, the 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 baby voice with with the baby <laughs> voice over there. Uh, what do you feel is the importance of the off season? Uh, to work hard and get better. To work hard and get better. That's that's it. Like that's yeah, that's about that's it. That's it. Just work hard. Get better. <laughs> that's all uh, can do. Uh, right. Nate, I feel that you during the off season you should work hard at everything you do and like be a good teammate and a leader. Make sure you do everything right and you work on the things that you need help with or lack of. Um, if you go hard during the off season, get done what you gotta do. You'll be successful. All right, Trey. Uh, well, what what you want to add to your your teammates over there? Uh, I just listed two things, and I said that uh, in the off season, I think it's just a test, like from last season. And I said uh, one of the well, one out of the two statements I said I said what would be better, we will be in better shape than last year, and two, uh, what will separate us from everybody else during the off season? Yeah. So what so what is going to separate y'all from? Uh, uh, the off season. I mean, last e- last year we had a good year. It was an improvement from w- one year to the next. And going into this off season, like, what is you guys' mindset? Like, what what is the thought process that's going through your head right now as we're in the gym? Uh, like I I was gonna say our mindset. It just has to be like on go, one hundred ten percent, and uh, state championship ready. And uh, every day in practice, even though it's the off season, we still gotta come bring it, even if we ain't feeling it. And I know I lack of that sometimes, but. <laughs> Uh, even if we ain't feeling, I mean, we got to give it our all. I mean, me and AJ being seniors, especially, like we just got to be ready for anything. So, uh, yeah, and we do need a ring, though. I ain't gonna count. Uh, look, last year, we got to step up and lead our team to 
Right, because them younger boys, uh, man, in practice, them younger boys looking up to us. So, I mean, we got to set examples and, you know, be the coaches on the floor and be the leaders too, so. Like, I like you know, I know I know that there are times where you guys hate me, and, and, that's, all, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm okay with the grumblings and the mumblings because I know, you know, you guys know that I, I just want the best for y'all. And like a family, we fight. We're going to argue. We're not going to like everything everybody has to say or do every single time. Um but today, what I saw in y'all today and what I've seen over this time period has been that you guys are really focused. Uh, Nate, what, where, where's that focus coming from? I think it really comes with, like, the mindset and making sure everybody's on the same same line, I guess. Same page, process. maybe page. Or page, yeah, that's there you right. Go. <laughs> I feel like if we all on the same page, we all work hard, then – and our mindset's on the most important thing is trying to get this ring. We want this ring. And if we work hard – be prepared, we'll be fine. Right. Well, um, AJ just keeps chiming in facts. Like that's all that's all we keep hearing. Facts. So if, if you ever hear facts, that's AJ in the back. <laughs> just keep just keep saying facts. So um I keep hearing y'all say mindset. All three of you said the same thing. Well actually AJ I mean uh, uh Nate and Trey said uh you know mindset. They kept saying mindset and every time they said mindset, AJ said facts. So I mean I, I, apparently everybody agrees that uh the mindset has to have changed. So this year's team, um, like we are young, we only have uh four seniors. Um last year we graduated eight seniors last year. And it's only four seniors. It's you know Trey, AJ, Ray, and Shaquez. Um, and Ray and Shaquez didn't even play last year. So, what is it? And, and I'll throw this to Trey first. Like, what do you think? Like, what are your thoughts about this year's team? We special, and we got too much talent to lose to anybody that's lower than us, or is, or is probably on in us on the same page as us, basically. But. Uh, I mean, we're too strong of a team to fail and stuff like that. So, I mean, we, I mean, we get coached well. We get taught the little things and and especially talking on defense. That's that's one of the main things, you know, making sure we set screens correctly, uh, being engaged and making sure we just for playing for each other every single game. And that's what it's going to take as a unit in order for us to be successful. So, uh, I mean, this team is special. Uh, last year's team was special the same way, but it was some ups and downs throughout that season. But – this year, I think we got the court, the team, and to do it all this year. So, AJ, what about you? What are your thoughts? I feel like everybody hungry. Ain't no playing and practicing under that, and we don't argue like that no more. Everybody just on the same page, and everybody want to win. Facts. Oh, they, oh, they, now it's reverse there. Facts. Yeah, facts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nate, you're coming up from JV this year, and um, you know you 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 worked your way from. From uh, uh, what's it called? From Lakeview, all the way, uh, <laughs> and, and it's looking like you're going to be on varsity this year. You know, what are your thoughts from the outside? Because you know, Trey and AJ have played. This is going to be their third year on varsity. I know for Trey, he split his freshman year between varsity and JV, and even for AJ, um, getting cut his freshman year and coming back, and and possible possibility of being a starter this year, and looking at some possibilities of some college scholarships. You from the outside, like how you've worked your way into this. Like, what is it that you, like, how do you feel? Like, what do you think about this year's team? Honestly, I feel like we got the best team, honestly. And, like, the transition from JV and varsity is so much different. JV, yeah, you do the same thing. But when varsity, it feels like the intensity's like, the more, pressure's on you. Pressure, <laughs> basically. Yeah. And, like, this year, I feel like our team, we got one of the best defense, honestly, because we put pressure on the ball. We can – and plus, after putting pressure on the ball, it gives them a turnover, and we already up down the floor on offense. And I feel like we can do that better than I feel like any other team, honestly. And like JV, it was different because yeah, we played defense, yeah, we did offense and did all that, but it wasn't like the speed and the intense that it is on varsity. And it's two different things, and I you can definitely see the change when you come or move up. So my question, then I'm, I'm going to throw it to anybody who wants to answer it. Like, what is it that you guys – you went 17-9 and nine last year. All right, we were 17-9 and nine last year. year before that, we ain't even going to – we ain't even going to – we ain't even going to talk about that record. But last year, we went 17-9. and nine. 
And, you know, we still lost in the second round of the playoffs. And, and I hear you talking about mindset. And I hear you talking about how strong our team is. What is it that you feel our team needs to do that to, to turn that corner to to make sure that we not we don't lose in the second round to make sure that you know the fans can 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 follow us like what is it that you think this team needs to do? Start off early. Uh, that start off with that's gonna start off with uh, the home jam we got. Yeah. I mean, even though it's a scrimmage, you still gotta play hard. Like it's your last. Like you, you gotta die for this game. I mean. Then we have our first game. It's something high, and coming off of last year, losing to them at their place was even worse than, lo- <laughs> than losing at home. And trust me, I know the feeling. But I mean, plus it being my senior year, I mean, we got to take everything serious. Like not- nothing can be taken lightly. I mean, every possession we got to make it count, uh, defensively and that offensively. Like I've even stepped my my routine up with defense too. Like defense is gonna give me basically my points. I mean, you can't depend on offense every time. You're not gonna score yep. every bucket. Yeah, that's good. That's the point. That's the point. So. Yeah, I feel like we gotta stay disciplined and just talk on defense more. And like what Trey said, defense gonna win us the game. Cause everybody can score the ball on the team. To be honest, yeah, I think we we have a lot of scorers. We have uh, you know young kids, Cesar Edwards. We have you know Jamie who can get to the basket. He plays really good defense. Um, I think uh, we're a really complete team. Um, you know, and that's not to say that we weren't before. Um, I just think that uh, it takes a while to, for a program to grow. And from where we were, um, y'all, you guys, freshman year to now, what has been the biggest change? And that's and that's to AJ and Trey because y'all are seniors. What what's been the biggest change from your freshman year to now? Discipline, to be honest. Discipline, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Discipline, uh, working hard, and really, I mean. Being vocal, yeah. I mean, coming from my position, not I don't want to take it back, but coming from my position in middle school, I mean, it was – I mean, I wasn't the best player. Mm-hmm. So, I took that and I used that as motivation. So, going on off of my seventh grade year, going up to my eighth grade year, knowing, not knowing that I was going to play JV, coming off of the season I had my seventh grade year, I mean, it was a blessing. So, I mean, I can thank God for that. But, I mean, that just lets me know that working hard, I mean – Anything can happen. So, coming from ninth grade, that was big. What about you, AJ? What is the what was the biggest difference between then and now? I mean, of course, uh, you were slighted a little bit, but we gonna keep that that little secret. You know, we think I don't I don't know how you got cut, but uh, I don't know either. <laughs> but, uh, but what's the, what what's the uh, what is uh, that, that's a good question for you, AJ? What has for those for those kids that you know? Because I, I, one of the toughest jobs a coach has. Is to cut a kid. Yeah. Um. Um. I think it's it's really really tough because through the off season you form relationships um with these kids. And this is coming from a coach. Um. You you form these relationships with these kids and then you got to turn around and kind of hurt them a little bit. You got to hurt their feelings. Um. And, and you're the only one in the room that knows what that feels like. You know. And then to be able to come back from that, like so. What is it that? What advice would you give to that kid that gets cut his freshman or his sophomore year? What just, advice do you have for him? Just put in the work and don't try to make JV. If you get cut from JV, just go try to make varsity. Cause that's what I did. Yeah. I wasn't gonna play JV. I wasn't gonna play JV. <laughs> I got cut. I said I'm straight to varsity from Redley. I don't care. I just put in the work and just like showing that I should have played that year. To be honest. Is that what you're still doing today? Like, yes, is that what you're still doing? Yes, sir. Showing them why they shouldn't cut me. To be honest, showing why you why you should have a position in the rankings as well. Too. Yes. <laughs> underrated, <laughs> underrated. My, my boy is underrated. He, he's underrated, but we're not gonna go there. Yeah, well, he, he had a good showing at the top eighty. So. Um, we ain't gonna I, speak on though. We ain't gonna, we, we ain't gonna, speak gonna see on, this season. Yeah, we're we gonna, gonna see this season. Now, so going into the season, um, uh, let's talk about that. That's 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 what's up next. You know, which before we get to the games, um, you know, uh, let's first talk about the schedule. You know, open up uh, with the um, the Phyllis Griggs uh, Jamboree, which will be November fifteenth, and uh, at, at the Den uh, here in here in Hartsville. Um, that's the that's named after the former athletic director, uh, Coach Phyllis Griggs, um, and then we open our, our home opener um, against Sumter, um, and then it's we go to Sumter. Lit. It's gonna be lit. 
Then we have a big time game. Uh, we're playing uh, against our savior, New American. It's a high school out of New York uh, in the Bojangles Bash. Um, then we play in the Farm Bureau um, like versus Keenan. Then we have Lakewood. Um, shoot. Then we have the Phenom Hoop Report Christmas Classic, uh, the the um, Chick Fil A Classic. The Pepsi Classic, and then we go into region. And then in the MLK Bash, we actually play Blythewood. So which game on our schedule are, are you guys really – and I'm going to go around to each one of you because each one of you is looking at the schedule. Um, and, I, and I'm going to start – we're going to start with AJ. I'm going to give him – I'm going to talk a little bit and give him a second to really think about it. Which game are you really looking forward to? Like that's the game that I got circled on my calendar. And hey, we taking every game one by one. I want to win, but I'm ready for the Wilson game to be honest. Everybody keep talking like we're going to lose. I ain't losing them, boys. We lost my 10th grade, yeah. Motivation. I ain't even played and I was hurt, so I'm playing this year, so I ain't losing. Nate, what, 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 which game do you think – which game are you looking at like, yo, I can't wait for that game? Honestly, I believe, like AJ said, Wilson, because I heard a lot of people talk, and knowing that losing second round don't feel good, and – Playing the same team, you want that revenge back. So, of course, got to be the Wilson team. What about you, Trey? Uh, 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 you know me. You know, you know I like to talk long, but I, I mean, <laughs> everybody know everybody know me. So I already know how people like like coming at my head just because the position I'm in. Mm. So you, I know you and I both know that Wilson game hurt me because I mean. That game, I gave it my all because I already knew what the game was going to come down to. So, I mean, that Wilson game and the Dawson game, of course, because last year, I mean, we went to Dawson. That was just that was just wrong, and I understand. They have to do anything to win, you know. So, But, but I'm, a, I'm excited for every game simply because it's my senior year and we have to make a statement in each game. And this season is a start to a long, great legacy, and it starts with us. So we have to start strong and finish strong. Yeah, that's that's that. That's actually facts. you guys gave a and there it go facts. Um, <laughs> 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 well, I mean, everybody, uh, you know, that was a that was a great. Um, uh, all three of you uh, spoke eloquently on that. That was a great, uh, uh, great answer. But Trey, you 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 said something just now, and you said the uh, the position that you're in um, because you're in a unique position. Um, you know, for everybody knows, everybody that's listening to this, the show knows that you've committed to South Carolina. Um, since committing, like, what has that changed as far as um, everybody, the people around you, like the people that you come in contact with? What's changed for you? Uh, I mean, I, of course, I have a chip on my shoulder when I play, but I mean, everybody always looks up highly to me, but I don't. I don't fall for that. I mean, I, I got to stay humble and be just like the rest of my teammates because we're a humble team, and, you know, we're blessed to be in the positions that we're in. So, But, I mean, uh, it's a great feeling, you know, knowing that I'm committed to the school that I always wanted to go to and uh, getting all the praises from everybody. I mean, it's a blessing. So, I mean, I'm just proud to be in this position. Yeah, that's good, man. And, and, and how do you guys uh, – um, the question is like – how do you guys feel as a collective? Um, they say that when you know somebody's successful, um, the, the people around him, the people around that person, should be happy for him. So Nate and AJ, like, what was y'all feeling? Um, and I know AJ, you're you're still looking for your first offer, but what was your feeling when Trey actually committed or when he, you know, going through this process? And, and then y'all, you're actually one of his closest closer friends on the team. So you know, like, what was that? Not a hey, not in a row, but you know, it's crazy. Uh, me and AJ, you know, we're close. Yeah. So, AJ gave me this uh, this book bag. I was like, AJ, uh, I might as well, you might as well let me get that book bag. It was a book, Under Armour book bag with a Carolina logo on it. Grade. And it was ninth grade. And he said, you know, it's crazy, bro. What if you go to that school? I remember that from this day on. Because we used to always talk about, like, going to college and being successful and stuff like that. But uh, when I committed, he said, bro, you know what's crazy? He said, I gave you that bag in the ninth grade <laughs> and said, what if you go to that school? I told him he could have it. But that's crazy. You got it, bro. Hey, that, it was crazy on commitment day. I was in class, and he told me that he was going to make a top three. And I was just – something told me to get on Twitter in class. And I just seen him – I seen his face with a game card. I was like, <laughs> what the world? <laughs> I just seen him outside. And he just looked at me and started laughing. I was like, dang, bro, you ain't even told me you was about to commit. <laughs> that sounds crazy, though. I was um, right on, though. 
right. Well, I mean that's 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 good. Um, now we are. I heard y'all all say, you know, people aren't giving us a chance. Um, people aren't giving us a chance. People aren't giving us a chance. Um, what is it? What? Why do you think that is? Why do you think that people have this thing against? Well, not I wouldn't say against, but just don't believe in. Why do you think people just don't believe in us? And for those that don't, what is it that you'd like to say to them? Like not not on not not on a hater or nothing, because we're not talking about the haters or anything like that. Because I don't. It's, this is not a negative show. You know, it's right. positivity right. around you know positivity around Hartsville campus, and that's that's where our listenership is. Is the Hartsville High School students and and faculty and staff. Right. And so you know, just want to know you know what is it that you want them to know. Um, as far as the the lack of, uh, I wouldn't say it's not really hate. It's just kind of like you know, like no, no love, no confidence, no love. <laughs> we we just everybody think just because we lost, we trash. But like, they we got a hard schedule. Like nobody right. don't play the schedule we play right. every year. Right. We got the hardest schedule in in the region, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would say in the they state be, though, in the state, they, they, in they the be state. playing other teams be playing trash teams and getting dubs. And when we lose to a, like a five eight team or something, everybody talking about we trash. But yeah, keep that saying. Felt that. Felt that. <laughs> <laughs> felt that. Honestly, we're like I see a lot of like hate stuff like that, and this is a positive show, you know. But I I don't think they know how much we put into work. Like honestly, we every day in the mornings, sometimes afternoons, at night, like we put in the work so much, and people don't see it. So when stuff like that happens, they're like, oh well. Oh, well, they suck. This is not. They ain't putting in the effort. Well, you don't see it. You don't see what we see. We always in the room or in the court anytime, anytime, anytime. And that's one thing. Well, uh, with me, I mean, you know, I know how that go. There's haters here and there, but uh, then again, like uh, us being Hartsville, we always got to play with a chip on our shoulder. And me being on varsity for uh, the time I've been on varsity since my tenth grade year, losing to Wilson, that's when it started to rally up. And I just know that every game we got to play with our all because if we lose that game, I know it's gonna be like that's the end of the world. And I just know that we just got to play with our all. So, well, I, you know, Hartsville is a resilient town, and um, and the students there are great. You know, we, it's a great athletic legacy there, and state championships all over the place, and. And, we, and we're going to start to wrap the show up, but here's, here's, here's and, and I'm going to go around to each one of you to wrap it up, and, and I just want you to, what is it that you want the fans of Hartsville High School basketball, of Hartsville hoops, what do you want the fans to know about this upcoming year? Like, what do you want them to know? We start with you, AJ. It's going to be a show. No cap. <laughs> That's facts, though. That's facts. It's going to be a show. Yeah, go ahead, Nate. What you got to say? We've been putting in that work, and I don't think nobody's seen what we, what we got yet. So just wait. I ain't got to wait. Uh, with me, uh, we're not just a football town. I mean, every sport is successful. So, I mean – Football, I hope they get a state championship. And basketball, we're coming right back, getting a state championship for y'all. And baseball is going to do the same thing. Every sport this year is going to be successful and so on and forth. So it's going to be a great season. So uh, I hope y'all as ready as I am because I mean, it's going to be a show. So stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> All right, that's gonna. Be, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up with this episode, uh, season one, episode one of the Hartsville Hoops uh, Radio Show podcast. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening. Um, if you like what you hear, go ahead and comment. You share, um, like it, um, and shoot. We'll see you again next week. From all of us here at Hartsville, at the Hartsville Hoops, we are Brad Foxes. Foxes.